Hello everyone and welcome to Bighorn Library where we have been hosting the Making a Point Art Exhibit. This exhibit is curated by Wendy Bush and celebrates all of the creatures and species of Alberta that use pricks for protection. The art begins right out here in our entryway in the wheelchair ramp with an ironic piece of art it is unlawful to feed wildlife, and yes, friends, those are porcupine teeth marks that you see there. A little further down, we come across the lawn porcupine, and yes, he is as heavy and as sharp as he looks. This particular art exhibit has grown in a very organic fashion with people seeing the original exhibit and being inspired to make porcupines of their own, including these lovely examples of wire porcupines and porcupines made out of foam and skewers. There's also been a steady donation of cards and jokes and all sorts of things, porcupine including this beautiful photograph of porcupine tracks as you move down a snowy trail. We've had a lot of fun ourselves as librarians doing arts and crafts with the kids, including these cute little prickly pals, hedgehogs, and ordering in lots of books on quill work and porcupine stories to share with the kids. And here you see a couple more foam and skewer porcupines, another offering from the kids, and a beautiful little painting dedicated to all the wallflowers out there. And down low we have a couple of stuffed porcupines. This handsome fellow was inspired after the show was near a school and the uh, metal shop class decided they would make a contribution of their own and I have to say people were bloodied in the unpacking and putting up of this fellow. The exhibit includes many many articles about porcupines and the unique place that they hold in our environment. We have prints, we have painting, we have embroidery, we have all sorts of items including this lovely thistle, which is yet another species that protects itself with pricks. I think it would be fair to say that uh, some people consider porcupines a bit of a pest, and this particular picture sort of backs up that idea. This whole area is the cowboy portion of our exhibit. It includes jokes, some beautiful line drawings, paintings, and perhaps one of the most unique things that I've seen in this porcupine exhibit, which is a brand. And you can see the branding iron and the brand itself before you right now. I really can't express strongly enough how remarkable the variety of work that we have seen in this exhibit is. Everything you can imagine, and even more, some of it informative, much of it extremely beautiful. This is my favorite pieces. Personally, we begin with an actual porcupine quill and then beautiful black and white up closes pictures taken through an electron microscope. Quite stunning. This glass case contains some of the older and more fragile exhibits that we have, celebrating thistles and porcupines and other spiny creatures. And this area gives you a look at the techniques and methods of using porcupine quills for embroidery, a wonderful traditional art style. Here is a little hands-on area of the exhibit where you can make your own porcupine inspired postcards and pictures with some wonderful stamps. Inspiration in the form of some great old lithographs and an absolutely beautiful painting of a thistle. 
and what art exhibit would be complete without a contribution from the weekly news. I'm going to close out this video with a shot of the beautiful portrait of Sally the porcupine up in a tree and I'm going to close off entirely with a shot of yes folks indeed that is porcupine poop. This is a wonderful uh, art exhibit and leave a message if you're interested in contacting the curator and might like to have this particular exhibit at your own library or venue. Thank you and have a great day.